One of the most famous carnivorous dinosaurs is the devil-horned, short-armed Carnotaurus. Though not the largest predator to ever exist, the meat-eating bull has gained popularity in its own right, first being the main antagonist of Disney's dinosaur all the way back in the year 2000, and now being famous for having the cutest mating dance in prehistoric planet in 2022. But for as popular as Carnotaurus is, there is little known about the animals that lived alongside it in its Patagonian domain. But then this little bugger was discovered and changed all of that. South America had been mostly isolated from the rest of the world during the Cretaceous period. With this isolation, animal diversity exploded, especially in sauropods. Though they were present worldwide at the time, they were most successful in South America. Here were the largest land vertebrates to ever exist, double sail-necked oddities, and chunky giants with ankylosaur-esque armored hides. A brand new discovery only adds to this diversity, but provides new insight into the world that the carnivorous bull lived in. Uncovered over two dig seasons, a team of paleontologists found the remains of a titanosaurian sauropod in central Patagonia. The location is important as this was the site of the La Colonia formation, the same place where Carnotaurus comes from. The remains they found aren't much, but they found a humerus, a majority of the hind limb bones, a few rib remains, pieces of the pelvis, and a few tail bones. That may not sound like much, but considering that sauropods usually don't fossilize well, this is enough to put it in a freaking Jurassic Park movie. From these remains, the paleontologists named a new species, Titanomachia gemenzi. The genus name comes from the Greek Battle of the Titans and the Olympians, known as Titanomachy. The species name is in honor of the work done by Olga Gimenez, the first woman paleontologist to study in Patagonia. The paleontologists who studied the bones also found that the animal was possibly around 6 meters or 20 feet in length, and weighed anywhere from 6 to 10 tons. So on the smaller size range for its kind, but not the smallest titanosaur ever known. Speaking of which, the researchers also found that Titanomachia was a lithostrotian, somphospondylid, saltosauroid, eutitanosaurian sauropod. I don't think I quite understand. I don't really see what you're trying to say. Can you explain more clearly? Basically, this means it's part of a group of titanosaurs known as the saltosauroids. Titanomachia itself was found to be closest to the Mongolian Opithsalcilocaudia and the Madagascan Rapetosaurus. Opithsalcilocaudia is a short-legged, potentially hippo-like sauropod that is known from a mostly complete skeleton that's just missing the head and neck. Rapetosaurus is also known from a mostly complete skeleton, but for some reason it's most famous for being an obstacle for a devil toad. As mentioned earlier, Titanomachia lived in the middle chunk of the La Colonia formation. At the time, Patagonia was an estuarine region with coastal plains and tidal flats. While small animals like turtles, mammals, and even plesiosaurs are well known from the formation, the dinosaurs are not. There were apparently abelosaurids, ankylosaurids, hadrosaurids, and other titanosaurids, but the remains we have of these animals are indeterminate at the time of writing this. The only other dinosaur known from the formation outside of Titanomachia was Carnotaurus sastrii. This animal is famous for two things, having a pair of devil or bovid-esque horns on its head, and having two tiny, almost vestigial arms. These arms have thought to have been used as a display structure, mainly because there is little else that they can be used for. Yeah, it's nice, it's real cute too, till you realize that it had jaws strong enough to crush bone, and teeth sharp enough to rip off chunks of flesh. Needless to say, when it lived, Carnotaurus may very well have hunted Titanomachia, and they would have been evenly matched doing it too. But for as new as it is, it's likely that a majority of people will have no idea that Titanomachia exists. For as fragmentary as it is, Titanomachia and its relatives are known to be rather simple in their appearance. 
And like a lot of dinosaurs, they'll probably be dismissed because they lack any attention-grabbing features. Meanwhile, Carnotaurus still takes the spotlight simply because they look scary. Think about it this way, Carnotaurs are big, they have sharp teeth, and they possess demon horns. If they didn't look so much like Satan, we wouldn't have them fighting an Iguanodon. There's dozens of Dromaeosaurid species, and you probably wouldn't guess that because a lot of them look similar to Velociraptor. Plus, dinosaurs that could be important to our understanding of their evolution, like Thyreosaurus or even a new genus of Eutyrannosauria, becomes almost an afterthought once Triceratops enters the chat because popularity takes precedence. It's like how most people would ignore a new movie if Jaden Smith was the star, but everyone beelines it to the theater when a movie has Timothy Chalamet as the main character. Yeah, T-Rex is the Johnny Depp of dinosaurs. And now I'm wondering if Carnotaurus is more like Dennis Hopper. We don't know everything about Titanomachia, we're miles away from that right now, but when it boils right down to it, most people are gonna forget this thing exists after a week. But that is the end of the line for this video. Fair warning for the future of my channel for the next month, uh, uploads are gonna be a bit more random because finals are on the horizon, so I apologize in advance. Please subscribe though, like, I, I'm not messing around with y'all. Subscribe or I'll toss your body to the highest bidding Carnotaur. I have the means, the money, and the lack of morality to do it. And for that obviously empty threat, here's Carnotaur Serotonin.